Aggressive shark attacks unsuspecting couple. A newlywed couple was snorkeling on their honeymoon in the Seychelles Islands when the man was attacked by a shark. His wife overheard his screams while tanning on the beach. Ian Redmond, age 30, died as a result of his injuries. The shark attacked Redmond while he was swimming in the calm waters off Anse Lazio Beach on the island of Praslin. Gemma Helton, his wife of two weeks at the time of the incident, had been sunbathing on the beach. The wedding took place on August 6, 2011, making the newlyweds one of the hundreds of European couples who travel to the Indian Ocean Islands each year to marry. The newlyweds, Prince William and Duchess Kate, spent their honeymoon on North Island in Seychelles earlier that year. Other vacationers and sunbathers became aware of the tragic event that had just occurred when they heard Redmond screaming for help. In a freak shark attack on a beach in Seychelles, British tourist Ian Redmond tragically lost his life. One American visitor who was present during the attack and spoke to the telegraph said, I noticed a swimmer who had lost a significant amount of flesh on his left leg, to the point where I could see the bone of his thigh. His skin was as white as paper, but he walked around with both flippers on. Prior to the tragedy, Redmond's widow told the Press Association of Reporters that she and her husband were having so much fun on their honeymoon. She expressed her love for her husband by saying what happened has shocked and devastated not only me, but also my family, our friends, and their families. He was a magnificent man who will be sorely missed because he was always calm and composed, powerful and brave, witty and bright, gorgeous and caring. He passed away suddenly. We consider it a blessing and an honor to have shared our lives with him. Redmond was rescued on a boat by witnesses, but he died shortly after arriving at the hospital due to excessive blood loss. There has been a recent spate of shark attacks on the beach of Anse Lazio in Seychelles, with this one being among them. A French tourist was killed by a shark in similar conditions while snorkeling in the waters of the late afternoon. Rumors that the killer shark was as long as six feet are false, according to Ronald Jumeau, the Seychelles ambassador to the United States. Fishing boats hunt shark that killed the honeymooner. No sightings have been confirmed. We are unable to explain the number's origin. It sparks speculation. We have no idea what kind of shark it is or what subspecies it belongs to, Jumo said in a comment. According to Jumo, who spoke with ABC News, a special committee comprised of standing authorities from the National Parks, the Seychelles Fishing Authority, Area Police, the Coast Guard, Marine Biologists, Hotel Security, and Area Residents had been assembled the night before to coordinate their actions in guarding the area and preventing a third attack. A domestic alert's been issued to ensure that people do not travel too far away from their homes. They are monitoring the surrounding waterways to ensure that they can capture the shark. Despite the fact that there is most likely only one shark, we are taking all necessary precautions. Seychelles officials attempted to downplay the threat posed by sharks in the region. We don't even think about sharks in Seychelles because they're so rare and the country isn't known for anything relating to sharks. One of my favorite beaches is nearby and until recently, I wouldn't have hesitated to swim in the ocean there, Jumo explained. According to Selby Pillay, the Seychelles Minister of Counselor to the United Nations, the majority of visitors to the country are from European countries. We've had approximately 100,000 tourists since the beginning of the year. I'm not trying to scare anyone or keep them from enjoying the outdoors. However, when we are in the territory of animals, we must respect them and follow the rules. That's going to do it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed the content of our video today, and if you did, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and ring that bell icon, and you'll always be updated of our latest uploads on our channel. Thanks for spending time with us today, and we'll do it again soon. Until then, stay safe.